Okay, so kwenye episode hii tuone namna ya kufanya customization ya admin site. Admin site ni hii hapa. Of course by default kiingia kutana na default user interface. Customization ku upload a template ambayo ni free open source Jasmine template ambayo tutai download Google. Okay? So hii ni website yetu. Okay, so kwenye episode ile tutangulia tulifanya uh, kutengeneza super user na kisha kumwezesha super user ku login. For example hapa nikija kwenye log out. Okay, so now login again. So username ni Samir password kisha login. Okay, so kwenye episode ile tutangulia tulishia hapo. So to create user kwa kutumia command prompt ambayo ni hii. Okay, kisha user akaja ku login. Okay, so website yetu ni hii hapa. Of course ni kumbusha ni open source a free web website template ya Bootstrap. So tumei download free kwenye hii site. So kiingia hapa tutadownload hizi template. Okay, na tulisema template yetu inaitwa Bizland. So utaklick Bizland, utaklick enter. Right? So utakuja hapa utadownload free open source hii hapo. Kisha utaja uita integrate hapa kwenye project yetu hii. Okay, so baada ya kuintegrate tumepata page tatu ya kwanza ni application. Okay, so tutaweka hapa application Python form hapa login user atakuja kufanya login na tufanya authentication ya user okay okay so hii ni site ya admin as well kuna kuifanyia customization ili uh, iwe na interface nzuri for that nitakuja google okay baada kuja google nitaandika jasmine okay kisha nitaandika django nita click enter to execute okay ndio click here read wrote the docs so django jasmine okay Okay so by the end ndio kufungua CMD nitakuja kwenye desktop search button nitabonyeza hiyo a command prompt nitafungua command prompt Okay So nikishafungua command prompt nitakuja hapa katika Jasmine Okay so nitakuja katika just nitakiki kwenye installation Okay so ndio kuiko library library inahusika na installation installation library hii hapa So people install Uh, hii hapo of course ni kui copy na kui paste. So nitai copy. Okay, so nitakuja katika command prompt nitai paste. So just copy it. Kwenye command prompt nitakuja nitai paste. Okay, nita click enter to execute. Okay, so ita download of course. Ikisha kwa download itakuja katika uh, desktop start button. So itakuja katika project. Okay, itakuja katika settings.py. Okay, itakuja katika a App, install the apps hapa chini utaja siku yongeza yu library inaitwa jasmine cause ni jasmine jasmine ok after zen taka koma ok so jasmine imesha kuwa uh, installed right so mtakuja katika uh, admin of course ni hapa admin site right nita refresh page ya uh, of course ta save changes of course na save changes okay then uh sometime natakuwa ufanye u clear browser ili iweze kuonekana pa so just log out okay log in again okay okay so now guys the jasmine ta just quick cut sub current inaanza ku run admin uh, of course ni kuna template default kabisa template ya admin default na program ya kwanza execution na nzia juu kwenda chini. So ikutana na hii line hapa inaanza ku execute kwanza. So itaanza ku display ya kati ya zimini ipo chini huko. So now nataka tu yake at the top. Okay, so now utata save, uta save changes. Kisha nita refresh. Of course kama imesha apply. So kama ionekani maana itabidi u clear cache. Okay, so now nitaje ku login. So Jasmine of course ni hii hapa. Of course hatuna na nio yote hapa. Hatuna uh, okay. So kinachofuata nitakuja katika hii Jasmine. Okay, nitakuja kwenye configurations. So nitakuja ku copy configuration page. Of course configuration page ni hii hapa. This is configuration page. So nitai copy yote configuration page settings. Alright, nitakuja katika my project katika file settings.py. So kwenye settings.py nitaishuka chini kabisa nitakuja kuweka chini kabisa huko. Nitai paste. Okay, so nitakuja hapa kwenye show user interface builder. So naondoa false naika what naika true kisha na click enter okay so uh, page yetu inaonekana vizuri kabisa hii hapa okay so now nita save changes okay nitakuja katika admin template so admin uh, panel so nita refresh okay no reverse match okay sorry okay so now kuna settings
Okay so now kwenye language chooser so hapa pataleta errors. Okay so now na put false au na remove your line. So I save changes na kuja katika your browser. So now come to refresh. Okay so now kuja ku run browser imekuwa stopped. Okay so python manager.py dot run server right? Okay so now current server na run nitakuja katika browser nita refresh. Of course baada ya refresh na kana hivi. So ukionekana hivi nitakuja katika top nita click yapo so kwa ajili ya customize so nakuja katika theme any theme for example nachagua theme naitwa flatly kuna litera of course now choose flatly okay okay flatly inaonekana hivi right okay so nakuja kuchagua color so kuna rangi hizi hapa kuna navigation bar so nikikliki utaona yule yule rangi imebadilika so okay so nao kuna rangi hii of course a lot click rangi Okay, so kuna rangi hii hapo, so any. So utai customize kwa rangi ambayo utaona inafaa, okay? So kwa rangi ambayo utaona inafaa. Okay, so kuna ancient color variants. So nitakuja kuchagua ancient color, for example, ancient color ni hii hapo. Okay, so ina look good. So nitakuja hapa kwenye light side bar variants. Okay, so just choose it. So nimechagua hiyo uh, rangi ya white. Okay, nimechagua white. So after choosing white nita kwenye brand logo okay so brand logo nitachagua hii okay so brand logo itakuwa hii so after then nakuja ku copy what show code okay yes so unajua copy just mean user interface tweaks here hapo so now copy it copy again njoo kwenye settings.py so baada ya hii hapa uh, settings just mean settings of course ambao uh, nili copy pale so chini yake naje ku paste of course in here Okay so after pasting na save changes na kuja katika katika address yangu hii hapa ambayo ni user interface ya yeah, admin so nita refresh ni refresh tondo zile changes zimekuwa pride right so nakuja hapa naondoa hii logo of course logo hiyo so nakuja hapa kwenye settings of course ndo kuna kila kitu so ndo katika settings of course ni hapa set of course hapa naondoa hii hapa just naweka hizo site header futa library so naandike a uh, jina la kampani langu kampani langu ni inaitwa aims ndio jina la kampani okay so site brand inaandika aims okay site logo just remove it login logo of course known also like login logo ya like login logo of course site logo class site icon welcome of course hapa naitoa naandika jina la kampani langu copyright of course ni aims okay again search mode hizi na uh, kama zilivyo user avatar na acha hivyo hivyo Okay, right. So navigation expanded true and again related mode active let's write true hapa chukua true okay so custom css in hizo okay so now save changes and come to refresh okay so now it look good okay so now kuna aims here for of course dashboard so niki click okay inapotea niki click na inatokea namna hii Okay so nikiki kwenye hii page of course hapa naweza ka log out nika see profile see profile okay this is my profile okay so nikija kwenye support okay anaza page inafunguka kule so nikija kwenye uh, users okay so kwenye hii kwenye hapo kwa kwenye tutorial nafuat la video tutorial nafuat ile kuna namna ku register mode of course current tuna two models groups default na users okay so users of course uh, current na Samir current ndo ni login okay so utakuwa users mwingine unaweza kaadi ya login so ni dashboard okay 